Welcome to episode 34 of the Modern Kings podcast. Every now and then, I want to talk about something that is just on my mind, on my heart, but it's still relevant to your attributes and the things that you should be doing or the things that affect you in a leadership role. I'm going to coin these discussions King's Corner. So this particular one is about letting go. Something that I have struggled with, something that I still struggle with, and something that I want to share with you. I struggle with letting go I think partly because I care too much. I'm guilty of caring too much. I want to set up people for success because I know the game. I know the playbook. I know the script. I know the cheat code. And nothing bothers me more than seeing someone struggle and seeing them try to figure something out or being rebellious against what I'm telling them to do, but knowing that I have the answer. This one example of this is even being in a place to where I am telling like my kid the formula for how to invest, save, give, and spend. And that kid decides to go against it. So that is one of many examples. But there's this commercial. It's called Farmer's Insurance. And they go through these scenarios. And at the end of the scenario, the guy goes, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. And that's kind of my mantra of what I feel the situations are are relevant to. So another thing that I'm guilty of is oversimplifying. And I hear a struggle. I hear a person that wants to get something done. And I will say exactly how to work that thing out. And the reason why I'm guilty of oversimplifying is simply because I've been there and done that and got the T-shirt for what they're trying to do. And again, I want them to win. And I want them to follow the playbook, the blueprint. And I'm guilty of oversimplifying simply because I have experience. The reason I need to let that experience go is because I gained that experience through my own trials, tribulations, tests, failures, and all that came with it. And that's something that I have learned. That's something that I'm still learning. And again, I just want people to win, but I have to allow people to win in a way that works for them. In the end, there is nothing better than a person being in their space of having to figure something out for themselves, having to struggle, having to say, wow, like, how did I do this? And how could I do this? But the joy of triumph and victory in the end to where they say, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Guess what just happened to me? I mean, about 15 minutes ago, I just got a call from one of my kids telling me that she has a new job and she did it on her own. And the excitement in her voice, how proud she was of herself how she was able to think, link, connect the dots and be the next evolution of herself. You can't do that for people. So that is the reward of me letting go. I have come to the conclusion that the best thing that I can do for any of these situations is to be present. If I'm present and I'm doing my best, people are always watching. And that is an example that they are walking away with. The second best thing that I can do is be consistent. Because if if I'm 
you know, doing this, um, I have this, this posture, right? If I show up with this posture of confidence and posture of experience and it's not consistent, then no one really wants to be around that. So I can be consistent, be a great listener, and not have to put my input into every single thing. The last thing that I've learned, I'm just giving three. There's a lot that I've learned. But the third thing that I've learned is to be a great testimony. Nothing beats your actions measuring up to your words. The greatest testimony that you can ever have is the life that you live. And I assure you that many people are watching. So this is a principle of the sowing and the reaping. Right? You're going to sow. And, and if you don't know what sowing means, it's like planting a seed. It's investing into something. It's planting a seed, knowing that that seed is going to grow a tree and that tree is going to grow apples and oranges and pears and bananas or whatever. And you may plant that seed and a bird may come along and eat your seed. But the law of averages cannot be defeated, which means that if you sow and you can continue to sow and continue to sow and continue to show up, the birds cannot possibly eat all of the seeds that you sow. And I've had to learn to not be discouraged when I sow because some of the seeds will fall on rocky soil, some will fall on bad soil, and some will fall on good ground. And it's not up to me when those seeds grow or how they manifest, but my role in all of this is continue to sow, continue to plant, continue to invest, continue to be consistent and persistent in showing up in a way that people need you to. The law of averages always work in your favor. So keep planting seeds regardless of what it looks like, regardless of whether you think it's working or not. A lot of this stuff isn't up to you. You just have to do your part, do your job and trust. With unshakable trust, trust that the rest is going to work out. Keep planting seeds. And remember, birds like seeds. But if you keep planting, it is impossible for you and what you're trying to do to be defeated. It's impossible. Follow me at IamKingPrime.com. Follow me on YouTube at, with the at symbol, King Prime. I'll see you on the next episode. Until then, look your best, do your best, and be your best.